All right, hello. I'm back with a, another Boondoggle Collection um, update video. I've made some more, so I wanted to show them to you guys. So I've, I make these videos every 10 um, Boondoggles that I make. So First, I, um, I made this one. This is just a project with the 2x2 two two triangle stitch is what this is. And so, at first glance, it looks a lot like maybe a quad stitch, but it only has three sides. So, and that's, of course, because it is a triangular shape. If you look at the, the top there, so. Um, yep, three pieces of string folded in half to make six ends. And then I went ahead and I made a twisted version of it as well. So again, this may look just like a, a twisted quad, or maybe a, a tornado or a twist stitch, but this is actually a twisted um, two by two triangle stitch. So there's the straight version compared to the twisted version. And if you look closely at the, the colors, there's only three colors, um, because of course there's only three colors of string. So there's that one. And then after I made those two, I of course um, decided I needed to make a, a combo project with those two um, stitches. So here is that. So this one alternates between um, twisted 2x2 two two triangle and then um, a pattern to create a more gradually twisting 2x2 two two triangle um, that I've shown in a lot of my videos where you do two straight stitches and then one twisted stitch and then two straight and then one twisted and so by doing that it creates um, this effect and so this one I really like um, I recently got some of this um, I think they call it tie-dye colored Rexlace brand gimp um, and so I've been using that a little bit it is um, a little bit different to work with than regular Rex lace because it's um, when you stretch it it kind of does weird things but um, it's good I like it okay next I'm going to show some more that use that gradual twist concept so first I'll show you the one that kind of I guess succeeded more so this is one that I just made so this is a four by one stitch and I, I did gradually less and less. I always did an even number. You always want to do an even number of straight stitches between the twisted stitches in order to have it keep twisting in the same direction. And so I did gradually less. I started here, obviously. And then I did gradually less and less straight stitches between each twisted stitch. Until in the very middle, you can see I did just a, a straight up... Um, four by one twist for a little bit. And then I, I followed the same pattern of the same um, number of stitches all the way um, to the end here. So I think I went 10, starting at the beginning, I went 10 straight stitches and then eight, and then I did six, six, so two sixes. Then I did three fours, it looks like. So 10, eight, six, six, four, four, four. And then like two, 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 two. And then the middle section and then that same pattern but reciprocated so and then this is I made this one before that one this was trying to do that same thing but with um, a three by one wall stitch but the problem that I ran into with this one was when I I cut the strings at the beginning to the length that I wanted and then once I got to the middle part here I did the math and I realized that I wasn't going to have enough length left in my string to go all the way to the end and make it like symmetrical like this one it wasn't going to be able to be that long and so I, I started out with you know straight stitches gradually twisting more and more until I got to this middle portion and then I realized that I wasn't going to be able to reciprocate that so for the end portion from kind of here on on this boondoggle I tried something new that I've never done before and that is doing two straight stitches and then two twisted stitches. So that's what 
So this right here is what it looks like when you did take a, a three by one and you do two straight stitches and then two twisted stitches. The only drawback here is it's not that consistent of a, a look. I mean, it still looks fine. It looks great, but it, it doesn't really, I don't know. I just feel like it's not quite as elegant looking as, as the, the gradual twist when you only have one twisted stitch between. But anyway, so I may use that concept more in the future. I might not, I'm not sure. Okay, next I want to show you this, um, this one. This is a smaller one. It only uses four strings, but um, this is a square stitch combo project. Um, so it starts off with the square stitch, but then it transitions into a square stitch that has um, kind of triangle stitches instead pasted on there. So it creates this kind of I guess eyeball or football shaped stitch um, so anyway it's like a square stitch but with with two points on two of the sides and then it, it continues to alternate back and forth between that and square stitch so there's that one all right next I'm going to show this one this I just made because I was looking through my collection and I realized I didn't have a full four by one wall twisted um, boondoggle anywhere that wasn't part of a combo or anything so I decided to make one so there's that of course the problem that you encounter when you start making these wider and wider twisted stitches is the long strand color kind of shows through which is a bit awkward all right then I have this one this was created using um, a technique that I learned from Yonatan's videos. Um, I think it's also on the scubadoo.eu website, but it's where you can switch the colors on a boondoggle from within without it really being noticeable at all from the outside in the finished project. So it's a, a really sleek technique because of course as far as shape is concerned, this is just a big long quad stitch when in reality how this is created was by doing by alternating between doing one quad stitch and then one special stitch that's like a quad stitch but with like a rotated square in the middle that's kind of hard to explain but um, there's a video about it that that Yonatan made that's really good so tutorial video all right I've got two left so here's this one this one I would have liked to make a little bit longer but ran out of string um, so this is a another unique um, shaped boondoggle that's I've never really tried before until now so this has a total of nine um, strands nine that you work with so because it's an odd number of strands of course, I um, wasn't able to do a normal, traditional starting stitch with each strand folded in half. But as you can see, the end result, the stitch is shaped... With, the way I would describe it is it's like a hexagon stitch, but there's another strand lengthening it out in three places. So it, it ultimately makes kind of like a triangle, but anyway... So I'll show you, there's there's three kind of concave sides to this. So here's one side, here's the second side, and there's the third side, and then we're back to the original. So it's kind of how this works. Um, if you have any questions about how to make any of these, I'm probably not going to make any tutorials myself for any of these, just because tutorials already exist on the internet for pretty much all these. So I'll just, if you're wondering where to find it, you can comment and I'll probably reply but here's the last one that I was kind of saving for last because it's the biggest um, so this starts out with a 4x4 four four twisted stitch and then keeps alternating between that and also these portions where there's a 2x2 two two tornado stitch in the middle 
with um, two square stitches on the outsides and I I made these split sections kind of perpendicular I guess to each other and um, I believe I cut each string to a length of four yards so I had plenty of string I think if I really wanted to I had enough string that I could have done another segment and so I could have right here split it off again and then another 4x4 four four segment but I thought it was already getting pretty long I was pretty satisfied with it so I finished it off and again this is using some of the tie-dye colored rex lace it's using two different variations of the tie-dye one is kind of a greenish and the other is kind of a blue So there's my, there's my latest update to my boondoggle collection that I'll be adding to my bucket of boondoggles. So thank you for watching.